It is a beautiful Saturday morning and I am hosting my second garage sale of the year today. The goal of this yard sale today is going to be to get enough space to get our vehicles, which are currently parked out here, into there. And it's gonna be a battle. I'll show you all the stuff that I'm selling out here. We start with the dog cage. This is uh, an old one that my parents had. We have a better one. And uh, I'm gonna put you in there. You wanna go in there? That's $10. If you want it, you can come get it. Bunch of totes that we're selling here, various prices, $5 all the way down to $2. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff for my father-in-law out here. He's got a basketball hoop out there. When we move into the garage, here's a, here's a look of it. I even have the professional lighting and everything. You know I gotta do it up if I'm having a garage sale. Here we got a mirror, $15. So I kinda put this here so when people walk in, they're all like, ooh, I'm gonna check myself out. And then I'm like, Oh, $15, I'm gonna buy that. We paid more than that for that, so that's a bit of a loss. We just have nowhere to put it. Uh, any garage sale wouldn't be complete without a toilet. Then you're gonna see that right when you walk in. Never use $10, that's the one that I took out of the bathroom that's right, right behind that wall right there. And then you got the standard stuff. Let's go around here. I'll take you through the outside first, actually. We got books for 50 cents, Cody and a couple of my books there. Women's clothing, medium to large, three to five dollars. All kinds of stuff in there. Over here, this is going to be a big hit, I hope. Baby's clothes, sizes 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 12, dollar each. That's a little little pricey. That was Cody's price, but uh, people, we, we're going to organize these, but people will just rifle through them anyway, like, you know, digging. So just leave it as it is. Here's a table, selling this for $10 for the whole table. I'm also using this as my little office area here where I hook people up. So I'll be sitting here like this. And of course, you got the beautiful lighting there. And we got our cash box with, uh, with uh, some ones, some fives, and some quarters. Got my iPad, which is gonna be essential. Got my uh, protein drink and uh, a bunch of sodas here, so I shouldn't be without anything to drink. Um, down here we got curtains, valances, table runners, table placemats, and tablecloths. Prices vary, one to five dollars. So um, I don't think anything's labeled there, but I'll have to make it up as I go. Here's some fall decorations. A lot of this I think are my parents' stuff, but we just have so much decorations, we don't know what to do with it all. And now's a good time to sell it. We got these, uh, I guess they're outlet covers or whatever. Um, these are wooden ones that I took out of the house because I put it white all over, so we're selling all those. Here's some decorations that Cody brought over. Some nice collection of stuff. I think there's going to be a market for this stuff here, you know, with the, the typical yard sale crowd. And then I think people are going to hit the baby clothes pretty hard. And then we move over here. This is a little table uh, for my parents that I didn't sell before, but I got to get rid of it because it's just taking up too much space, $5. If you're hearing any sound, that is from the uh, the furnace that's just kicked on. I'm selling this right here. Get that out of the way. This is a six disc changer DVD player with surround sound and subwoofer for $40. And then down here, we got the uh, surround sound speakers. Rock Band for the PS3. And I actually really love this game, but the problem is I don't have the space to store it. So it's got to go and uh, it's a real bummer. It comes with the drum kit. It's got two guitars, the whole works, the actual game. And last but not least, we got this bed that we're trying to sell. We got no space for it. And this is what's really keeping us from parking in here. Um, I don't have a price on that. I really have no idea what to sell it for. So I'm just gonna kind of let the market determine that. So the only thing I have left to do now is take this yard sale sign and put it out. I don't have a garage sale sign. I had one earlier this year but I think I might have thrown it away. I didn't really expect to have another one. I think I got the perfect setup for the yard sale sign. I wish it said garage sale. Put this little two wheel thing all the way out here, basically halfway out in the road. And I'm hoping that draws some people in. Won't get anybody coming from this way over here because this side you're gonna see nothing. But this is uh, the direction to town and that's where everyone comes from. So I think it'll do the trick. The real bummer is our house is so far from the road. See how far out we are? That by the time you get down here, you can't really see a whole lot. And I know for me, I'm sure you saw some of my old videos, I like to do something called road shopping. And you can't do that here because everything's so tucked away. But uh, it's something. Hey, are you going to help out today? This isn't toys. No, that's tape. That's mail. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's going to have a lot of fun today. You're going to have fun with all the people. Drop it. Somebody's just desperate to play here. Good news is we got a lot of front yard. Bring it here, boo. It's 7.42 and I'm officially set up. I got prices on everything. I put an ad in Craigslist that said the yard sale would start at eight o'clock, so I'm hoping I have some success from that. And then just the general people coming in through town and they swing in and they're like, I'm gonna buy some junk today. And I hope they do because I really need to get rid of this stuff. It's one of the hardest things about yard sales. It's like, 
I don't know what to price things. I just want to get rid of it. I'd like to make some money, but the prices that people want to pay and what you're selling stuff for, it's like almost not even worth your time because people like, say, say this is $5 for example. It's like, I'll give you $2 for that. And it's like, is that even worth sitting out here for four hours with it sitting there? Maybe, I mean, it's $2 and it's something that I'm not using anymore, but two bucks and everybody wants to negotiate yard sales. It's just, it's just annoying, but it's just the way things are. Don't forget about my other helper, Mellow Cat. She's gonna be helping out with the garage sale today, maybe driving in some sales, I hope. Probably just getting into mischief. Hey, you're damaging our merchandise. There goes my first customer of the day. Made myself a whopping $7. And they actually had exact change. A lot of people when you're at the first spot or the first yard sale of the day, they'll come with like a $20 bill and buy like a dollar worth of stuff. So you have to make all this change, which is why I'm always prepared. They bought one of these runners. They bought my two little plastic totes that are out there. If you're watching the video, you'll be able to see those too. So I sold those for $2 a piece, sold one of these for a dollar, and they bought uh, one of these plates, I think, or two of these plates for a dollar. So, And a couple of little pumpkin things over here. So starting to clear out, I tried selling the bed, and uh, unfortunately they weren't in the market, but they were liking this table, and they said they were going to tell one of their family members about it. So it's all about word of mouth. You just got to start telling people, and hopefully it starts coming around, and you can get rid of your stuff. My first customers were loving the Roxy Bear. The guy must have thrown her ball for her like six or seven times. They were just loving the bear, but who doesn't, right? It's been over an hour since my first and last customer left. Fortunately, I do have YouTube and I've got my drink here, but I'm starting to think maybe I'm gonna be wrapping this up a little early today. It just didn't go the way I planned. I thought, you know, advertising it on Craigslist, have a sign out front. I know it's October, I know it's cold, people aren't really out as much, but I thought we'd have some success today, but seven bucks made and one customer, well, two customers if you count the two of them together, just wasn't what I was planning for. Didn't sell any of the big stuff that I'm trying to get rid of, hardly sold anything at all. But the good news is I can wrap this stuff back up, put that stuff away. A couple totes isn't anything to store, but this stuff I'm gonna have to put on Craigslist and definitely get rid of. Just give that away for free, sell that for something. I need that dog cage gone. This stuff can just be used for storing all that stuff. And uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna leave it at about 10 o'clock. Right now it's a little bit after nine. I'm gonna give it until 10. I'm gonna watch some more YouTube videos, drink the rest of my drink, and then I'm gonna call it. It's gonna be it. This is a failed garage sale. Give here. Well, it took me a little while, but I took all of our stuff from the yard sale, all the tables and all the stuff and packed it back up. And the nice thing is, I do have some space in here. You could put one car in here right now at least. Over here, not so much. I'm gonna put this stuff on Craigslist. I got photos of it. I got a couple extra totes back there in the corner of stuff that didn't sell. I took some of the other things and put it inside there. And uh, that's what we're left with for now. So I'm gonna try to sell the rest of that stuff here in May when we have the community yard sales. And for now, it's just gonna go in storage. But hey, I got a little bit of progress made out here. At least you can actually walk in the garage and I could put one car in here.